everybody. In case you didn't already know, my name is Rhiannon and I am a student of Jake Steiner's and Myopia Method for Natural Vision Improvement. So today we are discussing normalized. The thing that happens once you get your differentials is everyone has more than one correction that they're juggling and they're really not always sure when to wear what. Put simply, differentials are intended for that 2D static close-up distance and hopefully you're only engaging with this inside the yellow zone. In the event you missed the original video on differentials, it will be linked in the description below. Otherwise, you may recall the yellow zone is the distance from 50 centimeters to roughly 110 centimeters where we largely engage with our close-up vision. That would be 2D, referring to screens and books. Remember to avoid the red zone as much as humanly possible. Okay, that squared away, let's go back to normalized. To put it simply, normalized is for normalized. Anytime you're engaging with the 3D world outside of that 2D static distance, wear your normalized correction. It's a commonly held concern for people still using their full correction during that four to six weeks after you first get your differentials before you introduce normalized, that they're wasting their time because they can't active focus at a distance. This is simply not true. Distance vision relaxes your eyes, even in your full correction even if it's overcorrected. Take this time to measure your vision so that you get a good normalized to start with and that you have all the data that you need to make sure that it is appropriate for you. Okay, so the next obvious question would be, what makes a good normalized? It's a pretty good question, but it's also fairly straightforward. If you've been doing your measurements consistently and objectively for the past few weeks, you have a very good idea of what your full correction requirements are on average. If you have questions about measurements, Links in the description below, hope that helps. Now that you have this full correction standard, you can reduce by a quarter of a diopter and you have your normalized. If you're a high myope, you might get away with a half diopter. That's up to you if you wanna try that. This is fairly straightforward at this point. Obviously, there's some complexity issues to address later, but keep those first few reductions simple, straightforward, and easy. So why only a quarter of a diopter reduction? Wouldn't a larger reduction mean more room for improvement? This is a common misconception, and the answer to this question is really not. Accepting ciliary spasm release, your eyes can only improve as much as they can improve in a given amount of time. On average, this is a quarter of a diopter over three to four months. Additionally, a larger reduction is going to leave you with excessive amounts of blur, which risks becoming habituated to that blur, which is counterproductive and introducing unnecessary strain, which is also counterproductive. Now, a quarter diopter reduction gives you a manageable amount of blur that's easily resolvable without interfering with your day-to-day -day life and function. I know it probably doesn't seem like it, but a little bit of blur really does go a long way as long as you're actively clearing it. As long as you are getting your distance vision and taking good breaks during close-up and getting good natural light, you are going to improve your vision this way. Probably the biggest benefit of a quarter diopter reduction is often overlooked, and that is fresh stimulus. If you do a half a diopter reduction, or even more, in the beginning you're going to be dealing with excessive amounts of blur, and by midway through, you're going to be dealing with stale stimulus. You're going to spend six to eight months in that reduction, possibly more, because your eyes will be habituated to that blur and less inclined to respond. However, if you introduce a quarter diopter reduction after three to four months, that fresh stimulus will stimulate your eyes to engage again. Very important point about normalized, there is going to be some blur, especially in less than ideal conditions. Do not hesitate to reach for stronger correction when driving at night. Please be safe. This is not going to hinder your progress. It's not going to hurt your eyes. Wear your stronger correction if you need it. In summary, all of my points boil down to wear only as much correction as you need for a given task and just a little bit less. Keep clearing blur, distance vision is your friend, and you're on your way. Best wishes in your journey back to 2020.